This is a rare sight. I've never caught them in the water. I've never gotten it in the water before. Known as the Indiana Jones of wildlife protection, zoologist Alan Rabinowitz was a tireless force in protecting endangered animals and their ecosystems, particularly big cats. Rabinowitz, who died this week at the age of 64, saved the lives of countless tigers, jaguars, and other at-risk species by getting their protection onto the agendas of leaders in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Dr. Howard Quigley is a jaguar expert and a lifelong friend of Rabinowitz. Like Indiana Jones, he went places that other people didn't go. He tried to make discoveries that other people weren't going to make because he had the energy and he had the wherewithal uh, to not sit at his desk and just be writing about biology, but to do biology. In 2011, Bob Simon profiled Rabinowitz for 60 minutes. One night, Alan and his team snared this young lady and put her to sleep for a while. This is the same cat we saw swimming this afternoon, isn't it? It's likely. It looks as if it probably is. Born in Brooklyn, Rabinowitz had a stutter so severe he was unable to communicate with peers and teachers, but he found he could relate to animals. He would spend endless hours at the Bronx Zoo's Lion House, where he considered the cats to be his kindred spirits in their isolation and silence. It was there that he vowed to become the voice of the voiceless. In the following years, Rabinowitz overcame his stutter and fulfilled that pledge. Among his life's achievements, he created the Hukong Valley Sanctuary, the world's largest tiger reserve in Myanmar. We have a jaguar here, which for the last 15 or 20 minutes... Set up the Jaguar Corridor, a series of protected areas that run from Mexico to Argentina, and founded the Panthera Group, an organization dedicated to saving wild cats around the globe. In addition, Rabinowitz is credited with discovering four new species of mammals, including the tiny leaf deer, the most primitive deer species in the world. Seriously, I was the accident. The personable and often funny Rabinowitz also wrote books, made documentaries, and mentored thousands of young scientists. To put his legacy in a nutshell, I guess, it would be that he made a difference, he didn't turn away from a challenge, and that he kept his focus on the conservation of the animals that he loves so much. You think about him as a child not being able to communicate and mm -hmm. finding these cats as his kindred spirits that he called, and then the work he did to help them in the future is really amazing when you think about it. And when you think about those young people that he touched, and really incentivized. It's a, a Brooklyn boy from the Brooklyn That's right. Zoo. That's right. <laughs> Outdoors. My kids go to that zoo. <laughs>